Okay. Let's check it's recording. Yep, it's recording. Okay. Hi everybody. Welcome to another video. Uh, this is Blender. Okay. Uh, a 3D software called Blender. If you don't know it by now, anybody out there, it's one of the best um, free three, uh, 3D softwares that people use to make games and short movies and a lot of things okay it's very good it's got a bit of a, a learning curve to it I've been learning it um, extensively for well I've been learning the basics for the last year or so now I've been learning this and I've made some videos on blender in the past as well anyway um, if you're noticing this again this is um blender this is 8.3 okay I've got here I haven't got 9 yet 8.9 but this is good enough um there are lots they're, they're always adding more new features to this software but anyway without further ado what i'm going to do in this uh, video is i'm going to make a 3d um dummy figure model just made out of blocks basically just literally some rectangular cuboid boxes and what i've done so far is i've got my um when you open up the program you'll find this cube at the, at the start there it's always there and uh, there's a camera in the scene and a light. I've deleted the light. Um, I'm not going to take you through all the basics of exactly everything I'm doing controls wise uh, in this one. If, if anybody would like a video on, on just like the basic controls I can, I can explain that and some of the basics again. But I'm just going to take you through what I'm doing here okay. As I'm doing this. I'm going to make like a dummy figure, like a human figure that's poseable without any bones, without any rig, like a skeleton rig inside to pose it like as a separate thing that's parented. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of body parts. Uh, I'm going to split the body into two, okay, meaning the um, torso at the top of the body and then you can imagine it being in three parts really if you include the top and bottom, the top and bottom like, you know, from uh, you know the torso with the um, down to the bottom of the rib cage and then you've got like, the, the bottom part and then below that you've got the waist right the hips and waist but what I'm going to do is I'm going to split those into two parts just to make it simple so the body's going to be split into two separate parts so that it can have a bit of a bend and twist uh, obviously the arms and legs with simple hands and feet but no toes or fingers okay and a head a head with a neck uh, but no facial features or anything like that it's just literally like a box man like a robotic box man <laughs> and all of the parts are going to be parented together okay you have this thing in, in animation softwares in 2d and 3d where objects are parented to other objects meaning that they're children of the parent objects meaning that they follow where that object goes or how it turns and moves around okay so it's connected that way the same way as bones in a skeleton are in the rigs that you usually do in animation but we're doing this without even doing that we're just going to have this as a basic base mannequin if you like robot um, looking box dummy okay uh, <coughs> now <coughs> you may be noticing excuse me <coughs> you may be noticing <coughs> you may be <coughs> excuse me you may be not <laughs> noticing that um, the look of my screen is very bright and you may hate that or you may like that. I personally like it because I can't stand the dark usual look that you get in Blender when you open up with the themes wise. Let's just have a look. I'll just show you how to do that really quickly too while we're here. I went to edit up the top here. Just edit. Okay. Not edit mode. Just edit. Go down to preferences and then it's already on themes it should be here themes but you've got like interface and you've got themes but let's say themes and don't touch anything here in the bottom but from the top where it says presets here presets okay so drop down menu you can click it and usually it's like this and it looks like to me it looks like hell <laughs> so it's a bit you know relaxing on the eyes you could say soothing in some ways but you know it can also send me to sleep so usually I go down to like a, a brighter one like this one I chose which is uh, white okay you got white and uh, it's pretty good it's, it's a good one you know so yeah 
Okay, that's, that's how you do that. And you just click away or save your settings if it's not set to automatically save. Uh, but then, you know, that's that. Okay, um, so now we're going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is you can see that little, um, can you see this icon here, this little red and white circle thing? That's the, um, what's it called? The uh, 3D cursor, I believe it's called. So let me just check that. Uh, yeah, it's called the 3D cursor. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to move this into a position. Move our cube, okay. Um, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to be copying and pasting this basically into multiple uh, parts before we start parenting them. I think that's the best. That's the best thing to do. I think um, we're going to make multi make all the parts. And we're going to size them this time by using a reference image. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. Um, I have an image I found on the computer, on the internet. I didn't make it myself, but I'm going to use it as reference. Got an image of someone in a T pose. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to. You can see how this little red and white circle things on the top there, right on the start of the axis point there, and we want that. We want it to be on the top. Okay. Just right about about there. It's not snapped on, but it's just I've just moved this cube into place, and that's where we want it. Okay. Uh, you could you could do it on the bottom, but you don't want it in the centre. The top is the best place to have it. Okay. Now, right click. Okay. So on your object, right click, and go set origin, and go to origin to 3D cursor. <coughs> now, when you want to set some of these features, okay, for any object, you can also with the object selected with the left click. You can also go up here to where it says object and go down and do the same thing. Set origin to 3D cursor. Left click. Now that's set. That means that if I rotate this, okay, we've got the options over here on the left. You can see, okay, like the move to move and rotate and scale and then a combined one there. The translation uh, um, tools. You can see with the rotation one selected, it's rotating from that point now rather than the center. Okay, to undo, you hold down Control and press Z or Z. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to click it away now. Um, yeah, another thing also to keep in mind, okay, is when you are when you have an object selected and you do uh, rotate it or change the size, scale it, move it. Uh, look up here at the top. Can you see here? it says global that's going to move or do all those actions from a global perspective as in through the whole as in the you can see the axis here the whole axis uh, Z is basically up and down basically um, green is across and reds across there you can see uh, but you know you've got um, local as well local means if you select local it will move it on its own uh, axis um, move the object on its own axis so it doesn't move in relation to the whole universal axis but like of everything the world but it moves within its own angle you know <coughs> anyway you'll see if you practice you'll see what I mean okay you'll understand <coughs> but um, you need to change that sometimes okay so I'll leave it on global for now okay um, so let's start okay so I'm gonna go up to here to the main select box thing choose my object, my left clicking as usual uh, let's think about all the parts we need, I'm going to hold down shift and press D then press Y uh, so it moves along that green axis there, just moving the mouse it just locks there Okay. Uh, I'm going to then actually select both of them and do that again so let's just say, yeah okay that's what it's basically going to do, okay, so do the same thing, oh excuse me Hold on, hold on. Boom, boom. I said boom, boom. Okay, there. I'm going to make a bunch of boxes first, okay? Doing this multiple times just to make all the pieces we need, okay? So, so the arms are going to have, let's say, two hands, arms, two pieces. Oh, I'm basically going to just make loads of pieces, basically. Is what I'm going to do. Okay, well, excuse me. Loads of pieces, right? first, it's a lot of pieces I know but um, it's a very lot of pieces, I've never usually done it like this but I'm doing it like this today so let's just see what we got 
we've got a lot of pieces we can work with we've got quite a lot of pieces now I'm going to duplicate these as well everything but the camera <laughs> okay um, yeah okay so that's that that's another selection there loads that, that should be enough more than enough so we'll delete some every one of these every one has when I click on it it should have the same axis set up as we've got there the, the origin point of origin so yeah you see it rotates there okay okay holding down control and pressing Z see to un uh, uh, to deselect that right now we're gonna start okay we're gonna start so first of all I think first things first we need to if you want to by the way if you want to get to good camera angles and you're like moving it around like this you can also click the options up here on the top right okay to get the different kind of camera angles you want but to move the camera as I say just really quickly for people that don't know uh, on your mouse you should have a left and a right button it depends what kind of mouse you're using of course but a left and a right mouse button and in the middle there's a middle mouse button and it is a button too but it's also it also acts as a rolling scroll wheel right you should know that you can roll up and down on that and it will zoom in and out uh, different directions for different softwares um, uh, you know to click on an object with your left mouse uh, is to get select it clicking away somewhere else will deselect it uh, right clicking on an object will bring up a, a tab um, options for the for the object I think if you left click first and then right click sometimes it does different things but okay um, middle mouse but let's go back to the camera uh, controls so more camera controls um, if you press the middle mouse button in rather than rolling it like a wheel in and out up and down press it in and just move your mouse it will rotate the camera like this it will, um, on its wherever it is in that point just turning looking around you know um, <clears throat> if you want to pan the camera left and right like, like um, left right and up and down like in a cross but without moving forward and backwards hold down shift on the keyboard and I'm just moving my mouse around. Oh, hold on, no. hold down shift on the keyboard and press the middle mouse button in, like a button, and hold it and then move around, okay? That's what you need to do, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, that's basically that, okay? So they're the controls and you'll get used to them in time. Uh, if you hold down control and, um, and then press the middle mouse button in, like a button, and then move the mouse in up, or I mean, different direct, uh, up and down. Basically, you'll find it zooms in and out, like a zooming uh, thing. Okay, as well, it's another thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So just thought I'd tell you that very quickly there. Now we're going to start. Okay. So what I've got is a camera up here. I've got a camera. I'm going to um, set my camera up in a better position. So I've got it selected. Go to the move tool here. Uh, I'm just going to basically move it around until it's like kind of facing in that direction like towards the uh, um, object there the uh, the, well, the our, you know our cube I'm going to press N for no on the keyboard and it will bring this uh, this tab up here you can also press it again and it will send it back have fun doing it that way um, um, you can also go over here and just drag it out. Okay, drag that out. Go down to view once the camera has been selected with left click as normal. Uh, you can go to lock camera to view. Can you see how that there? Lock camera to view. Check this box. Now, any time, whether that's checked or not, any time you want to go into camera view and not the normal view we're looking at here, click on the little, uh, and I'll just close this down for a second put that back I just pressed N but you can click on this little camera icon can you see it here press that and now we're seeing what the camera is seeing okay and you can click out of that and it'll go back to normal view and that camera is still in the same position as you left it and the camera is what basically what is, what's seen through the camera is what's going to be rendered if you save out any images or animation I'm going to go to um, <coughs> go to the <coughs> camera again click on that and now when I move my camera around it acts the same way as it normally does in a normal view but except with, you've got the same control of the um, everything we're seeing 
but through the camera and it's a better way to control the camera because you're controlling the camera and you're actually seeing through the camera at the same time okay um, now you may say it's a little bit small right okay when I first learned this I didn't understand it I didn't know how to fix the problem and I was so pissed off I was really angry so what I did is um, I've learned now you need to go back into the options just drag that out or press N go to a uh, view as I say and you can see lock camera to view okay it's selected well with that unselected okay lock camera to view unselect um, we can so it's not locked basically like, uh, every time I move the camera it's going to leave <laughs> at that view it's gonna, every time I move the angle around it's going to leave camera view and I have to go back and click on the icon here see the icon of the camera back if I move the camera it leaves it again shit so I click on the thing yeah it's there and then what is without, without moving the angle like just zoom in with your ma with your mouse wheel to an angle that kind of looks big enough for what you want to deal with you know um, okay and then and then from there okay from there then you want to go to the lock so I'm going to bring it over here lock camera to view bang right then press in for a second uh, N not M sorry and now you see I can move it and it's the right size okay um, yeah um, any settings you're working on if you're working on an animation or any scene don't forget it's better to save like a, maybe a blender file or something like with this scene you're working on as, uh, like a, to be a project but just save it as a blender file to be like a project uh, and you can come back to it and it will still have the same settings and everything you've set for the camera you can toggle them on and off and change them as you go over anyway but um, another thing I want to say is that this grid if you want to turn that grid off you can go up here and click on you see up here at the top here you've got these two little blue things here I've got and turn that off and that will take away also the information you see the writing on the screen there and certain things about these toggles here plus the camera thing it will turn them uh, there's two there's this one here this one if you look at my mouse here see here look look here okay this and um, sorry, and this, like this, and this, for the grid and everything, and that just makes it nice and clear, so you can see what you're doing. But they, those things won't be rendered out anyway in an actual real image, you know. But whatever's within this box, yeah, this screen, the camera view is actually what would be rendered if you were saving an image out or a video out. Okay, now we need to start. We've got one more thing we need to do. Um. And that's bring in the image. So hold on, I'll just find that image. I've got an image here I found on on the internet. This image here, and it's not perfect. Someone's obviously drawn this. Okay, this is probably their signature there. You know, um, but the thing I'm saying is okay. Um, I'm not making any money from this video, as I say. This is just you know a tutorial video. Um, it's just a fun little video I'm making. So I'm gonna base my um, figure I'm just using this as a reference basically for human figure shapes right so that's that so I'm gonna go in go to the camera now if you look here uh, with the camera selected okay if I go down here you should see this green uh, camera icon here okay scroll down and go to where it says background images you see that background images click the checkbox then go to the arrow and bring that down drop drop it down go to add image then scroll down and go to open you've got a choice of image or movie now earlier on um, I tried to bring a movie in like a video um, it was an mp4 I don't know what happened something was wrong it wasn't um, showing right you know uh, but I'll have to work that out you know, I've, I've done it before you know uh, we're gonna have an image and we're gonna go to uh, for image we're gonna go to open I'm going to just locate that image on my computer. There it is. And you can see how it's very stretched out. Okay. Um, very, very stretched out. What we're going to do is we're going to go to... Um, where is it? Go down here. Go to the alpha. Scroll down. Turn up the alpha make it stronger. But what I want to do is go to fit. Okay, fit. This is the one. It's a bit small. I must say it's a bit small. Um, you know... Um, go in here, you can go to crop as well and things like that. But I'm going to go to fit uh, so it doesn't stretch and stuff. Uh, there's other things you can do. Um, scale, yeah, you can scale this up a bit as well. 
you can scale it and you can offset it which is really good like move it into the right position that's better for you as well okay you've got rotation and stuff as well um, so that's good enough I think it's good enough to work with okay now you might say well it's, it's okay but it's hard to see what we're doing yeah well in blender you've got these views at the top here you've got um, different views you can try them all and you'll see if you click on them you get this see or you can turn off the x-ray one and you just become like boxes and stuff um, yep go to that you can turn on the x-ray for that as well which is a pretty good one which we'll probably be using this one you got this one which is uh, another one and then you got this one I'm not going to take you through all of them this is the rendered view basically uh, with, with, this is also like rendered with textures if you have textures we're not using any textures in this obviously but um, the rendered view is the main best view when you've got the lighting and everything uh, this is like um, texture like material um, preview mode it used to be called look dev mode this one is just um, shading showing like a solid one but we're going to have the x-ray turned on here the x-ray off is harder to see obviously and then you've got the wireframe and you can have that as x-ray or normal basically but no matter what we're still seeing through and seeing the object which is a pretty this is a pretty good way to um, work it as well but I want to go with this one or um, hold on, uh, this one in x-ray mode okay right so let's start so basically um, we're going to just basically make the pieces of the body okay and then we're going to pair into them as I told you like we're going to join them okay join us <laughs> like the movies horror movies I'm going to go here um, get the right camera angle oh no no hang on I need to go into the uh, camera still don't I go to your camera okay just do it there um, yeah let's just go so it's a case of just resizing and stuff the first thing I'm going to do is just move the pieces up you know and make them like the funny thing is is like it's not a 3D thing it's just like you know it's just a basic um, you know shape isn't it it's a basic um, what do you call it a basic uh, flat image <laughs> You know, and it's not going to be perfect. These are literally boxes. I'm just literally just using cube boxes and um, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, I'm just literally using basic um, cuboids. So usually I would just copy one down, and I think I'm going to do that anyway. So I'm just going to duplicate one of those. Hold down Shift with that selected. Press D. Press Z, move that down, Z or whatever. Okay. Uh, okay, no, put that there. Uh, this one, so I've got two halves basically, you see. Shrink it down a bit to match a bit, you know, whatever. And they're not making it perfect, they're just literally just for a dummy shape, okay. Now, yeah. and you can see there's two parts, like I said, to the body. I could break it into three parts, but we're going to do two. The top one's slightly bigger. Um now 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 we need to go here oh, hold on I'm just trying to get it a bit of a normal bit of a better size really I'm gonna go like this right just like a rough thing I'm not gonna put the whole groin and anything in there you know selecting both you can select multiple objects by clicking one object and then pressing and holding shift and then clicking on another object uh, if I wanted to parent this to that which is what I want to do I would actually basically just um, uh, once that's done the last no matter how many objects you select like this multi selecting the last object will be the parent object which is the one which all of the other objects will follow with its movements and uh, changes uh, transforms basically and rotations so the last one being you can see it's a slightly brighter orange can you see it's a lighter lo lighter orange that's the last one i selected then what we would do is we would right click on the object there and then go to uh where is it uh, sorry um parent uh, you go down to parent and then go up to object and it would like parent into that and i would 
I will do it now just to show you okay so I left click and show you okay and that is right we want that anyway um, also I want to just shrink both of these because you can control them both while they're both selected objects and the same in edit mode we're in object mode by the way now we've also got edit mode sculpt mode and various modes here texture paint but we're in object mode um, <coughs> excuse me um, <laughs> the thing is okay um, what it is okay is uh, when you've got this when you've got this like this okay what it is is um, well, that was parented wasn't it? it was parented right so that means if I click away now if I click on this first one here and let's say I rotate it that follows see it follows the top one follows the um, bottom one you see but if I click on the top one it's not it will just move on by itself you see because it's like a child basically the, the bottom one is the parent the last one you select so this is how we're going to do it the legs are going to be connected to this the arms the elbows the hands the feet and the head with a little uh, neck you know I'll do as well you know um, yeah right so right so you know so, so we're going to fix that so yeah I'm a kind of um I kind of uh, messed that up didn't I because of the angle and everything but it's okay um, with them both selected I can still do the same kind of transforms and stuff as well because, I, because I've selected both of them that's why I'm able to uh, move them and manipulate them together because I selected both like with the select tool I drag both see or you can hold down shift and then click on both as I say but if you click on one of those objects, as I say, in ch child objects will move accordingly uh, by themselves, whereas you move the parent, and every everything else follows. Uh, as it basically is, everything's as, as attached. Okay, as such. Okay, so now we're gonna do the uh, legs very quickly in the same way. The arms, the legs, everything is the same. Very very quickly. Okay, uh, should be very easy. It should be very easy. In fact, um, yeah, it should be very easy. So if I, if I, yeah, okay, no, no, no. I'm, I'm still going to use these boxes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to make. Let me think about this. Hang on. Right. I'm going to make a copy of that. Yeah, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to delete all of those math, all them, all them cubes we made in the beginning. Every one of them. De delete all of those. Okay, all of these. We don't need them after all. That was one way you could have done it. Go back into the camera mode. Click the camera icon over here. Oh no, I deleted the camera. <laughs> I accidentally deleted the camera, so I'm holding down Z. Z, you know. Hold on. <laughs> that was funny. Hold on, I need to find out what I'm doing now because I'm going a bit silly. Hold on. Right, carefully just delete the objects, okay? Ah, see, I went outside the box. I have to, I have to see it within the thing. Hold on. Shit, hold on. I have to see it within the view of the camera. Oh, what happened? Did I delete that as well? Hold on. Okay, deleting those. Make sure that they're in the view of the camera, okay? Okay, good going over here. Wow. If they were Christmas presents, the kids would be really happy. <laughs> okay, didn't have a cross there. I didn't lose, m didn't lose my body, did I? You don't want to lose your body, you know. Okay, that's that. So that's there. Now let's go. Let's go, motherfuckers. Excuse my name. I'm gonna copy this here. Copy this move it across and we're going to make obviously four of them so two arms and two legs so easy right so easy now we'll give it a test first and see what's what so yeah it seems to be working the same is it working the same way I'm not too sure now hold on shit damn it's not working the same way fuck excuse my language I was wrong okay let's just delete that we've got to give that a look now so that was not working the same way okay so we should not have deleted those cubes I was going to keep all them cubes there keep them there please excuse me then that was a bit of a 
boo-boo on my part but at least you're learning from my mistakes there right so we're going to keep everything we had there okay we're going to have to keep them we're going to have to keep them all right okay so let's do it let's do this i'm going to make they've already got their axis axes uh, set up as i say so i'm going to just make a couple of legs there what I can actually do is make a copy of that actually. Let's move this across. We just need we just need one piece really. We just need one piece. Hold on. That we can make four parts. Okay. So let's have a look. Bang. Because they're not parented yet, that's the thing. To duplicate an object, don't forget, with an object selected or multiple objects selected. Uh, hold down shift and press D and then you can move it freely with the mouse but if you get used to where the axes are you've got the red and the Y axis going across in different directions and the Z axis or the Z axis is up and down so just press one of those keys on your keyboard I'm going to press Y here for the green axis Y is green uh, X is red and Z or Z is blue Blue, okay. Uh, again doing the same thing okay if you want to select an object and just move it, just click on an object. If you don't want to use the toggles over here, another way is you can just press G on the keyboard and move it freely with the mouse by moving the mouse, just without pressing any buttons, just moving the mouse. Or you can press G and then then another one of those letters, uh, Y, X, or Z. Okay. So good. We have to do these one by one. See, a moment ago I wanted to. Um, do the bot like do the body and treat it the same as like an arm. Like what I'm trying to say is I can't make one arm, copy it and make the other arm. It doesn't move the same way, so I have to make each part separately. Okay, so that's okay. Let's do the legs first, um, and I'm copying each one of these individually as well. So I, actually I need to have eight parts, don't I? Yeah. So easy to do because I don't trust. Um, I don't trust copying multiple objects. I know they're not parented yet, but it seems like sometimes they mess up. In that, when you start turning and transforming them, you'll see they start to deform. I don't know why. I think it's something to do with the parenting, though. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I'm going to put these two in here. Um, I will resize those two multiple uh, together. Okay. I will do that. We'll resize them together. Okay, good, good, good. Now I'm gonna move these two together here. So it's quite easy when you when you get the idea. This obviously this needs to come over here. We need to move that back. Ah <laughs> we need to move that back. Hold on, hold on. See we've got another angle problem as well because don't forget it's just a 2D image it's not really 3d is it you know so that's one thing you need to remember but it's all right it's pretty good we're not going for exact thing anyway exact uh, sizes we're just making a basic thing we're not trying to make it the same we're just making a, a human shape with the arms and the legs and the head so like something i can pose you know all right so i'm going to move that across move that down okay that's good enough because it's going to be simple anyway, you know. Uh, yep, just moving this a little bit more. We can always adjust things later. You can, you can do. Now, the arms. Right, so I'm going to basically, I'm going to just shrink them all a bit down because I can see that they're not as long as the legs, are they? Uh, we're going to put two up there. Move them up. <laughs> I'm going to put them in the down position first. No, hang on, am I? No, no, I'm going to hang on. I'm going to, hang on. I'm going to yeah, I will. Put them in the down position first, and just pair into them, and then resize them as we go. Uh, should we do that? No, I'm going to be brave, and we brave, and we're just going to rotate them straight away. You see how they rotate on the right axis? You see that? Yeah, they rotate on the right uh, axis because we saved them all in from that same beginning. If you watch this video again, if you're confused, 
go back and watch and you'll understand it good I'm nearly finished I'm going to resize the arms ok move that along a nice size to the elbow elbow mate alright mate I'm going to move this up here <laughs> we do need hands as well I said come on now Richard everybody needs hands I'm going to do this I'm going to make we need we need hands feet and a head no, no fingers no toes that's okay we don't need to do all that but we do need hands you know because if this guy's going to be doing some different movements he might need his hands right, so we're going to do that here uh, so we're going to simply copy a couple of those mm, I'll press Z a couple of times duplicate those, press Z a couple of times so we've got two hands and two feet basically um, I'm going to put two of those put these ones over here put these down here for later for the feet <laughs> I'm going to turn this here ok and if you're sleeping, if you think it's quite a boring video, I, I hope you have a nice sleep and uh, <laughs> don't have any bad dreams about this robot here. Okay, we're gonna shrink this. We gonna shrink this motherfucker. Well, hold on one second. We're gonna shrink this sucker. Um, put them a little bit smaller there. I'll probably have to change the arms a bit. Oops, certain things as we go anyway. I like certain like the thickness and stuff but we'll put that there at least it's a basic thing you know it's all basic mate it's all basic I've got a bad feeling that maybe maybe I don't know but maybe they're like it seems like they're the right size I'm not sure they might be like some would be closer to us or further away from us if you know what I'm saying but that's going to be easy to move before we pose uh before we um, parent, sorry, parent leave everything, you know. That's not a big problem at all. <coughs> like, like I'm saying, some of the some of the objects seem like they're a bit um, bigger or smaller, and I'm thinking they, they they haven't got to be perfect anyway. But I'm just saying, like, um, they may be um, it may be a bit because they're closer or further away. And we can't see it because we are not able to be moving the um or we it's, it's awkward to move the camera in certain ways when we're doing this we're working with a 2d picture there of that dummy we're using for some reference we're nearly finished so we put this one here <laughs> good bit of fun you may say, why is Richard doing this? You know, you can just get a dummy on the internet and use 3D figures. I know, I know, but it's like, because some, I've had trouble on my end, and I'm just showing you another way that you can do things, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the foot now, the foot, the foot, the foot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them in place. Oh, we need to make a head. <laughs> we need to make a head as well so let me move that over there why okay a head with a bit of a neck on it as well you know you know what I mean so I'm gonna move that there uh, it's not gonna be too hard um, hold on put a Z up there that's the head and the neck that's gonna be the feet are not finished yet so what we're gonna do is we've got all the pieces we need basically we've got all the pieces we need all of them, but let me move that across here. Delete these, okay? Delete all the ones we don't need. It's hard. To, oh shit! Not that. We we need that. <laughs> we need that camera. We sure as hell need that camera. Hold on. You need to delete the ones within the view. Right. Just the ones within the view. You need to delete. If you delete anything outside of the camera when you're in camera view, that's what I've learned here today in front of you, like, it deletes the camera as well, it seems to be. I don't know. I don't know, it seems that way. Okay, so you can see now our camera's kind of messed up size-wise, it's alright, but... Right, now let's go back to what we're looking at. Um, 
so if I go back into normal view for a second, if I just go back into normal view and just have a look quickly, just have a look and turn off the x-ray, so we've got this uh, I'm going to just move them for a second, yeah global or local would be okay for that uh, what do we need, we need to have this on, we need to see where the feet are going to be so this is going to go like, oh shit, hold on no this is going to be they've got to go down there obviously they've got to go up and then these have got to go long ways and I'm not trying to make a perfect one, I'm not trying to do it perfect like real feet, I'm just doing a basic thing you know now, when both selected, any object that's selected that's the only thing you'll be able to edit in edit mode but well, I've selected two and you can do that so I'm going to go up here and go down to edit mode okay well I'll, I'm not showing you a lot of editing in this video in edit mode as I say I'll move that foot over in a minute as well but up here when you're in edit mode you've got this here point select which is like all the corners all the little points and things you can see all the points you've got edge select which is the lines the edges that make them and then you've got face select which is the faces so if I just click away for a second and click on various faces you can see that I'm going to click on an edge I'm going to double click same way holding shift and clicking on multiple things we'll do that there's a lot of tools here on the side for editing stuff okay but we're going to just use the basic move tool move those down, oh I chose the wrong one, hold on make sure you've got the right thing selected okay I'm just going to do that um, it's not perfect as I say what I will do is I will go with a loop cut here on both feet, it's a loop cut option here you can see I've just, I've just decided to do that, don't worry go back to the normal select tool up here now watch the video again if you're not sure, click away click on this, these two here with the move tool, we're going to move those up again he looks like a transformer, don't he, this guy <laughs> um, I'm also going to, um, I think what I'll do is go again with that loop tool here loop cut tool is called, loop cut same thing, then go back to the normal edge select uh, tool, tool here, select choose edge from up here choose one and then hold down shift and then click on the other one press them with the move tool, bring that down a bit choose face select maybe now just choose those two faces maybe drag them out a little bit there maybe you don't want to give him such big feet because he'll look like Richard and my big feet <laughs> and go here up to ob object mode now at the top here go back to object mode so we're not in editing anymore click away somewhere then move whatever you need to do into place okay good the hands are going to be very very easy the hands I'm not doing any much no, not anywhere near the detail you've just seen here. I'm just going to literally make them some flat pieces. You can see how blocky this body is. It's so blocky at the moment. I'm uh, just moving them into a bit of a nice kind of position. Okay. And, um, you know, there's different ways you could have done this, but... Hmm. So you can change the shapes, like the size and things like that in um, object mode, but... See so like this and stuff, I'm just making the hands like really simple little shapes that could resemble either open hands or a fist or a closed hand, whatever. It's just a simple thing. I'm just suggesting certain things here, see. You know. But that's that. We've got to just put, put the head on now. Put the head on this motherfucker, right? And then we've just got a basic thing going, right? Uh, and, oh, and then we've got to obviously um, can, uh, parent everything up, as I say, because it's not connected and parented at the moment is it you know um, yeah you know just just fixing a few things up here okay that's basically that you know ah um, right hang on let's go back into edit mode quickly for this piece here just choose face select for a second drag that up a little bit I think that's okay go back to object mode I'm gonna put the head on now Head on, Ready? Optimus Prime. Uh -huh. Just move these up quickly a little bit. Now the head and the neck. Obviously, we're going to go back into our camera just really quickly, uh, very very quickly. Uh, move that over. 
Good stuff. Now I'm going to put the head over here. Shit, what the hell just happened? Shit, what the hell just happened, bro? Man, what the hell just happened? This motherfucker. Hold on. I don't know what the hell just happened with that. Okay. I think it's because I had the camera selected, that's why. Okay, so I was going to literally make the neck like really, really quickly. Mm, what the hell is going on? Move this bastard over. Okay, hold on. Put that there. Really, really fast. Small. It's going to be a bit bigger than you think, but what it's going to be, you may think, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the head on top of that. It's like just a little bit, just like connected into the thing. Um, put the x ray view on so you can see what you're doing a bit better. You know, that is like the height we want, a bit wider. Right, now I can turn the camera around, go into a normal view, turn the camera off, uh, turn off x ray, turn this like this, a bit longer, and that's okay, but we're gonna just like put that a bit forward like that. The chin bit there, see. <laughs> um, put that in a little bit more like that. Uh, same thing, I can put it a bit low if I want to do it like that. Don't have to be exactly the same, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I'm going to join two objects now. I'm going to make the neck and head one piece. It doesn't matter which one you select first, but with the select tool here, select option, choose one, like the head and then the neck, or the neck and then the head. These are the only two we're going to be actually literally joining as one to make them one object, okay? I'm going to hold down shift and left click so I can click on both, as I say. Then I'm going to hold down control and press J. And now they're joined with a J, okay? Now we're going to do the fun part, which is the um, editing, the um, parenting, sorry, okay? The parenting part now, okay? So let's do it. The head is going to be parented to the top of the body. So I select the head first with the select tool selected better in object mode. Uh, select it and then hold down shift and press the torso part. Right click and go to parent, which is on and then go up to the top here where it says object bang that's done okay now for the top of the arms we're going to connect those to the top of the body too separately okay um, hold it then go then the last one's going to be the parent right click and go to parent object you can also do it the other way by going up to the top here where it says object don't forget so clicking on that bang bang really fast We've done in no time. I'm going to do it the same way I've been doing. Now, you've guessed it, that's right, the bottom of the arm is going to be connected to the top of the arm. And you've got to do it all one by one like this, properly. And no copying and pasting, because it messes things up, okay? That's what I've learned. Boom, boom. When you're in a rush, you can mess things up like anything, don't forget. But you've got to be careful. Now the hand's going to be connected to the arms. Uh, the top, the bottom of the arms there, the forearms. Okay, boom, boom. And test things out as you go. You can change stuff as well. If you make a um, mistake, you can right click and go to parent and then clear. So clear parent here. Or if you want to, okay? If you need to, I'm saying. Oh, I think I already did that one, didn't I? I'm just going to do it again. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to do the same for the feet and the bottoms, the shins, you know, the legs and then the thighs. Okay. And we'll be finished and we'll save it um, in a moment. Hold on, one second. Okay, object. Bang, that's that. Okay. Uh, these two then to that. We connected to these two legs. We connected to the the thighs. We connected to the to the bottom part of the body. Uh, don't worry if they're not 100% aligned up totally right. You can align certain single parts. You know, you can move them of their own accord. Anyway, you know. Uh, you can yeah, because the same as you've got posing and then you've got that like, positioning like in editing anyway, but it doesn't matter. So the bottoms of the legs go connect to the tops of the legs. Okay. Okay, and then the feet obviously connect to the bottoms of the legs. We're nearly finished. One more to do. Boom, boom, boom. And obviously you've got to like give it a try, give everything a try. So that's all saved now. That's all saved now. Um, you can see like it's not like perfectly it's not the best robot on in the world but you can see the shape you know 
Okay. And I could have used like much better shapes. Hold on one second. You can use. I could have done much better shapes. And um, like edited it better to look like a person. But I found like this works good for simple stuff. Now let's just go and check our camera quickly. Uh, we got like you know the basic thing, right? And I, the reason I chose this photo with someone in a T pose is I thought it was like a good way to clearly see the sizes. And I I just chose one carefully, you know. Okay, now um, turning the camera off for a second. I'm just going to go in. Very important. I'm going to choose the box select thing, this whole thing, and just drag, left click, and drag over the whole thing. I'm not going to press A. If I press A, that would select everything. But the problem is, it selects the camera as well. We don't want that. So I'm just going to go over here. If that does happen, though, if you do select a load of objects. If you want to like just de, if you want to select everything, but there are one or two things you don't want to select, you can press A, and then hold down Shift, and then click on the things you don't want to select. I think that works. Or we'll click a few times. Oh no, that's wrong. Don't worry. Okay, don't do that. And just click away to deselect everything. Left click and drag with the box select uh, thing selected. Um, uh, now I'm going to just move with the move tool and move this whole. Um, uh, basically this whole character up to here I can get my camera in a perfect angle if I want to like that by moving my camera positions up here at the top okay just like get him up there ready he's on the center right on that center good there it's a nice little starting point you know I like to save a couple of these models like in one scene as well um, I'm gonna give him a quick test okay and then see so I'm gonna click away uh, got the rotation tool selected and I'm going to just click on each individual part to make sure that they're working properly good you see they're moving Now, when that happens you can see here that everything's following I can move this one here see I can move it in any direction and it will move as I need it to okay um, yeah and that should be okay okay good yeah, this moves with that the hand moves with it good same thing boom boom okay good yeah that's okay uh, that's okay good top of the body this is okay good um, the head moves with it the head's <laughs> separate but that's okay you know I'm gonna move that in in a moment we can turn it like to look obviously um, bottom of the body obviously this is the whole core for everything it's all connected to um, the legs okay yep hold on legs will move okay don't they yep so you can check it all out you know that works well okay that works there just checking it's okay giving it a check it doesn't matter how we move it really we're just checking it for now holding Z, holding control and pressing Z to um, put everything back to normal to undo things um, yeah uh, certain things as I say you can edit so like or you can I mean object mode still but I'm just saying certain things I can just choose here like the arms, I can make them a bit thinner. Like select them multiply, select them by holding down shift and left clicking on them, and then like just get them into a better position and stuff like that. Move things if you feel the need to, you know, things like that. You can do things like that, you know. Now the head, I wanted to move in a bit more actually. Um, the neck part, I wanted to make that neck a little bit, a little bit more in. I feel, um, you know. Um, yeah, just trying to work that out now myself. Um, but I don't think it really matters really, to be honest. But I can go into like edit mode, choose the head, the face there. Don't mess around too much because you can like kind of mess things up too. I'm just like moving and proportioning things a bit different here. But it's like, and then go back to object mode, bring that in. See, so I want to make sure that it's like can just attached to the, the body the whole time, sort of thing. Go in there when I'm rotating but you don't have to worry too much just leave it as it is you know for the basic poses and stuff right so that seems to be more or less okay I'll move these across a bit yeah. you can move individual things as I say um, one more thing I want to say before we save this um, if you have things selected by the way and then you undo if you accidentally deselect it will reselect them again don't forget Vice versa. Um, yeah, um, I was gonna say when I turn the arms down, like 
this and I think I can proportionally do it on the x-axis too can I hold on if I go over here and just open up quickly and go to tools and uh, where is it uh, tool is it no there's a way you can uh, move things that align where is it there's a thing you can do like to actually um, mirror like what you're doing and stuff I won't do it now but there's a thing you can do you can like mirror so we'll do the same thing on the other side but so yeah I'm just going to move this down you'll see what happens though it's like kind of disconnects right it's a weird position so you can just like move it across that's okay so you're like there you know like that that's okay and then this can be like that you just go to the move tool just to move it back into place you know what I mean yeah um, but there you go you know uh, I think, yeah, looking at it, I think really, um, I think really what we need to do is just make this, these a little bit longer, a little bit, just a little bit like that, a little bit, see, this one especially as well, there's, match it a bit, and that's pretty good, that's pretty, pretty good, so I'm going to save this as a file, right, and uh, we did pretty well with that, you know. Um, so file. Uh, I'll keep the photo locked into the camera for now. File. Well, no, I don't have to because we're not going to keep that. So let's go back to the camera. Go down quickly. Clear that. Yeah. I've cleared the image, you know. So if I go into camera mode, I won't see that image anymore. Okay. File save as as a blend file. Okay. I'm going to call it. Block. I'm gonna call it block man, block dummy, <laughs> and it's a blend file. Okay, just leave it as dot blend, block dummy. Okay, I'm gonna call it block dummy dot blend. Save as. And um, now I don't know or not if I can actually um save this as like a FBX. Um, I know I can save like straight up poses. I can make a pose. Uh, based off of a photo, you know, or something, or just make one up. Um, I know I can do that, you know, just reposition that a little bit. I know I can do that, uh, but I don't know if I can um, hit save. I don't know if I can um, export it as a as an FBX and have it still all connected up and stuff, like because it's not a skeleton, but it is kind. Of, it's like a it's like a skeleton without um, a without a body, like a shell, basically. And they save as FBX files. I don't know. I'm going to give it a, a try. So I've got my file saved here. Let me just see if I can do that then. Okay. So I'll even delete my camera for a. S no, no, no. I'm going to select, drag, and select the whole object here. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX onto my desktop. A dummy. It says Block Dummy FBX. Okay, good. And I've got up here, go to the top here, on the top right, selected objects, okay? Check that box. So it doesn't, you know, accidentally um, export the camera as well, or anything else in the scene you might have. You don't want it. I'm going to go to export FBX. Bang. That says it's done. Go to file, um, new, general, go to don't save. Um, I'm going to delete everything in the scene by selecting all these, the light, the cube, and the default cube and the camera, delete those, press delete on the keyboard file, go to file, ok, import, go down to FBX, I'm going to find it off my desktop block dummy FBX, it's saved it and it seems to have, I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure but it seems to have worked and if it has I'm very happy about it, it seems to have worked, that's really cool wow it did work, it worked, did it work? no 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 it didn't it didn't work, look. And the reason I'm saying it didn't work is because, look, you see? It messes up. Do you see that? It messes up. Yeah, because it. the reason is it changes the shape, see, of the body. It stretches, it stretches in weird angles. So there are ways you can fix that, but I'm not too sure about it. I'm not an expert. So let me just turn Blender off for a second, delete my dummy, what what we do have though, what we do have is um, 
the file so let's go into blender again open up blender and open up the file we had and that's why I said save it as a blend file click away from this screen quickly just go to file uh, open and I'll find it here block dummy blend double click and that is the one we've got there and um, as I say okay that and that works fine see that works totally fine no problem there at all no problems at all okay uh, what else I can do is I can just copy and make a duplicate so select the whole thing hold down shift and press D press Y to move them along the green line by moving the mouse uh, there you know and it should be the same so let's just give it a try very quickly click in and there's no problem there so that's that's good see give it a try make sure he's okay you know and everything is okay you know and it's okay right okay then that's that right so that's that so I'm going to just hit save so I've got two here in the scene file save and I want to say thank you for watching this video okay you take care good night and I hope you enjoyed the video bit of fun simple dummy one hour long video <laughs> bit of fun